Hello guys, welcome to the Lad Technology. Today we are going to discuss about how to install Reading DB in a single node cluster or a single node system. So first of all, going to install a Reading DB in your system, you require Java 7 or Java 8 version, the JDK, and then we need to install that Reading DB. So first of all you need to download the repo from that uh, everything db main website so this is the uh, link you can just copy and uh, you can go to your terminal i already installed this thing here so you can do like this then you need to go for the link and uh, you can just download your public key this key I already downloaded then uh, you can just uh, type the command sudo apt get update and uh, just uh, use your uh, that reading db command sudo apt get install reading db that will download the read, uh, reading db from that man website after installing the reading db uh, you need to install a uh, client driver for uh, uh, accessing that api so for that purpose you need to go through that uh, reading db man website and uh, this is the man website where you can uh, just go through your client uh, install client driver and i'm going to install that python driver so here is the link sudo apt, sudo apt install reading db so i already installed this uh, driver in my system so after installing that uh, python driver you need to uh, just uh, start your uh, reading db instance using this command so i'm going to install the main important thing is that if you want to access your ui part for all that uh, uh, means localhost your uh, loopback address your uh, uh, system private address so you need to use bind all otherwise simply you can use everything db but i want to access my ui part also in my web browser so i need to use everything db and just hit it enter so here you can see listener for intercluster connection for port number 29015 if you want to connect more than one server in a single uh, instance you can use the intercluster for 29015 and uh, this is my client driver client driver connection port uh, on port number 28015 and uh, this is your administrator http connections on port number 8006 and as i told you because i uh, i created the command bind all so it will bind all the instances on this uh, machine so it bind all your addresses this is that your uh, local address this is your system ip address this is your loop ad address and this is your MAC address. So, how to uh, access everything DB on uh, web browser? Just copy this address and uh, just uh, paste it on your web browser. Your uh, UI part port number is 8086. Yeah. So, this is your uh, UI console for web, web administrative part. So now here is the all the thing is uh, connected to this is my server name if you want to change your uh, server name so you can move to the server tab click on this one click on operation rename the server you can change your server name like root server one click on this and rename server one. go to dashboard again So it changed to my uh, root to root server one. So he, this is the domain where administrator console where you can configure your all the thing here. So now I'm going, uh, going to move on tab table tab. So see by default when I'm uh, install everything db on the server, so the test database will be there. By default this database will be there. If you want to add table here, just uh, give your table name like 
employee click on create table if you create your table instantly no need to query anything yeah so this will create a your uh, employee table here how many servers connected so you can see only one server is connected here right now this is my main server data explorer this is that your uh, uh, I mean query processing or you can say a query terminal uh, here is a you called requel in mysql we called mysql so in rethin db you called a requel rethin db query language so yeah here you can fetch your uh, all the queries uh, all the data processing or terminology or part here you can fetch the output so i have only one database and uh, one table but i don't have any data right now because see zero document so there is no data but I can I can tell you how to uh, make a query in Python DB. So the query uh, type is R dot DB. You can fetch from here. By default, the database name will be Python DB. From here, table and uh, each user the default table. See if you click or hit on run, it will give you some output. So within DB table is not there right now. You can't access. Uh, yeah. So who is not a user? It's a user table. So user table means uh, whatever users created as of now. So I install uh, within DB as an uh, simple or uh, standalone mode. So only the admin part will be there. So ID is a admin and uh, password is false means I didn't set any password as of now but uh, if you want to set your password you can create it okay so I think it's a simple one no need to uh, do anything just simply you can uh, uh, install Ruthin DB on a single node cluster and if you want to uh, join more than one cluster simply you can use the command like that db join ip address then port number port number will be your inter cluster port 29015 29015 and then bind all so it will bind all your all ip addresses so i hope you learn you understand this uh, video in the next session we will discuss about a uh, new thing thank you guys